You know, more and more people today are staying at home and watching their television sets instead of doing and doing and, and instead of doing something informative and constructive like uh, reading the newspaper. My mouth is weird. <laughs> Newspapers all across the country are closing because they haven't any readership. That's right. And if it wasn't for the newspapers, we'd never get all the details and we'd miss those real super duper small human interest items that never make the television news. And so tonight, we're going to back into the world of print and show you what you've been missing. That's right. Ladies and gentlemen, the Smothers Brothers Comedy Hour Daily News. Newspapers used to be such fun. Brought the news to everyone. How do we know we've read it in the Daily News? Now here's a front, oh there it is, now here's a front page headline, geologists predict California earthquake. Can I state your business at the desk please? Uh, yeah listen, I was just uh, driving over Route 85 up on Eagle Summit and uh, when I got to the California border, California was gone, disappeared, it just dropped into the ocean. What else? Well, you, you don't understand, there's, there's been an earthquake or something, uh, it's all ocean, there's no more California. What? Listen, officer, California's gone. There's 15 million people missing. Okay, what are their names? <laughs> another front page headline it says president elect richard nixon nixon is busy choosing his new cabinet well i'd like to see president elect nixon please i told you mr nixon is a very busy man i've been waiting for four hours i am terribly sorry but you'll just have to be patient look i have to see him right now Mr. Nixon is in conference. He is busy selecting the members for his new cabinet. I suggest that you make an appointment. My name is Agnew. He knows me. <laughs> Headline, Harvey Fisher Motel owner claims to have a talk to creatures from outer space. Now tell me, Mr. Fisher, tell me exactly what happened. Well, well, last night I was watching TV and I heard this loud whistling noise. Whistling noise. Like, woo -woo! And uh, all of a sudden a ladder come down out of a big dish and people walked right out of it and they came over here to my desk. So uh, what'd they look like? Well, their heads was where our stomach is and uh, they had long straight legs that didn't bend and gigantic feet. <laughs> what did you call the police or notify anyone? Well, oh, not right away. First thing I registered them. And uh, then I got kind of mad, and I did call the police. Oh, what made you mad to call the police? What... Well, they signed in as Mr. and Mrs. Gvork, and I know they weren't married. Well, how'd you know that? Well, the lady had a big finger right here, and there's no ring on it. <laughs> Daily news. Daily news. Pick up a copy anytime you choose. Here are some things from the sports section. Headline, American Dan Sweatlock tries to break world hammer throw today. Dan Sweatlock, I understand you have the uh, world's record in the hammer throw. Now uh, just, how, what is the distance of this throw? Well, three weeks ago I threw it 734 meters. It was a world record and beat my old record by 300 meters. 300 meters, that's fantastic. That's right, it was. Well, what do you attribute this amazing success to? Well, total concentration and understanding of the hammer throw. Uh-huh and uh, also a unique form which I developed myself. Well, what is this form? Well, it's a special form. I'll show you today and I'll back up because I'm only going to do it once. Nobody's ever done this before? No, oh, it's my form. I'll do you it. You think you could beat your last record? Yeah, I think so. Okay. Now here's a controversial headline. Church split on birth control. 
Father, I realize you're a very liberal priest. In fact, I understand you've just gotten married. Yes. But how do you feel about the, uh, the Pope and birth control? Oh, I may be married, but I'd never go against the Pope as far as birth control is concerned. Never. Uh-huh, never. But suppose you're, uh, you found your wife taking the pill. Well, I think I'd have to file for divorce. <laughs> from the bridge section and the headline is man injured in watts bridge tournament i'll pass one bag two clubs three spank <laughs> <laughs> Income tax, newspaper sure to distort the facts. How do I know I read it in the Daily News? Wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. What are you trying to say? I'm saying that the news, I'm saying that the newspapers distort all the facts and are corrupting the news, and you can't believe anything you read in the papers. Oh yeah? Well, how do you know that? Yeah. I read in the papers. <laughs> Ride, ride. 